What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Mass 360 YouTube channel. Appreciate you stopping by and checking us out. Like this video, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified on a weekly basis when we post new content on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to walk through how to push OS operating system updates to iOS and Android devices. So we are in the portal here. And if you could see here, my advisor with Watson, this is a really good way to start this video risk exposure. Six of your iOS devices are missing the latest Apple iOS 15.5 and iPad OS 15.5 update. So what I would do if I was a Mass360 portal admin to make sure these devices are protected from any security threats because they're not fully up to date, I would click on that link. These are the six devices. We're not going to do this now, but I would create a new device group, and I'll show you in a second here what I would do. So let's pop into groups, and let's pretend for a second that this active device group is that group of those six devices. If you go to more here, there should be an option as long as there's iOS devices. Here it is. Push iOS update. Download install, download only, install earlier, download, and updates immediately. And then they'll give you a distrib distribution update hours option here. And then note that updates get applied only when the device connects to a Wi-Fi network. So it needs to be charged substantially and connected to Wi-Fi network to push that operating system, that patch to that iOS device, whether it's an iPhone or an iPad. Now, the drawback when it comes to pushing updates to iOS devices is there's no option in policy to say, hey, these updates need to happen automatically, which is a good segue into looking at how Android pushes operating system updates and patches. So let's pop into an Android policy. We'll go to Android Enterprise settings as always. System update settings. Hit edit. And as you can see here, you're going to have update options, three different options. Install that update immediately. Install during a maintenance window. I'll give you that maintenance window here. Or postpone updates. So you might want to postpone updates. Maybe if it, this doesn't happen as much with Android, but maybe Android comes out with some half-baked patches. It gets distributed to the phones, messes the phones up. You got to take them off and then redistribute them. Maybe you want to postpone that update, push that update to a single test device, verify it's good to go, and then push it out to all the rest of the devices. That's how a lot of my clients will push updates for Windows. But as you can see here, this is much better than iOS. This is going to allow you to make sure, hey, I want my employees' Android devices to always be up to date and install immediately. This is what most of my clients will do, install immediately. Actually, you know what? Most of them are going to do install during maintenance window, a maintenance window, and then set that window at nighttime or over the weekend when they're not using that corporation Android device so it's not interfering with work. But you have some options here that you don't get with the iOS devices. That's not a limitation of Mass360 or an MDM solution. That's a limitation of the iOS operating system. You could also put Android devices in groups. You would do that here if you did postpone update. You will put those Android devices in groups and then push it the same way you would push the iOS update. A workaround, not really a workaround, but just an extra level of security when it comes to operating systems. You can set up a compliance role. We're just going to glance over this for a second here. I've done separate videos on uh, compliance roles in the past. Let's pop into this compliance role here. So you can set up an enforcement role that says, hey, if you are not fully up to date on the latest iOS update, this needs to be the minimum. We want the max to be 15.5, of course. 
if you are not within this window or if you are not at 15.5, we're going to immediately send you an alert. After the alert, maybe we will selective wipe that device, which is going to pull off anything pushed down to that device from Mass360. So essentially, that corporate-issued iOS device is a paperweight. They can't use it to access email, applications, any tools that were pushed down to it that they need to do their job, making sure they take action on that oper operating system update. So that is a little security workaround that some of my clients will set up because, again, there's nothing you could set up within policy that says, hey, I want these updates to happen automatically for iOS devices. Hopefully that gave you guys some, some idea of what it's going to look like to push down patches and updates to Android devices and iOS devices. If anything needs further clarification, let me know in the comment section below. Like this video, subscribe, and look out for these videos on a weekly basis. Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate you.